Why do many believe that our climate and geographic environment are a fundament to our happiness? One of the biggest reasons countries throughout the Caribbean, Central America, and South America, among others close to the equator, receive so much tourism is their opportune environment, which allows many to escape the ravaging cold of the global north and south. Many believe that escaping their cold native climates will somehow improve their happiness. But is this really true? An article published by David A. Shockade and Daniel Kahneman analyzes this notion. First, they attempted to understand people's perceptions of climate unhappiness by asking students from regions in the Midwest and in California whether they believed that living in the state of California made people more happy. Not surprisingly, the results showed that Midwest students had basic premonitions about Californians' overall happiness due to their generally warmer climate. Of course, this assumption was not found to be true, and results showed that Californians did not believe that their environment had an extreme effect on their happiness or satisfaction. This simple study proves that climate and warmth are not extremely influential factors on one's happiness, but rather their perception of who is happy. Yet, you would not be wrong to assume that sunshine is influential to your overall happiness. A rewarding chemical called serotonin was found to be released more often as one's exposure to sunlight increased. In healthy people with a high trait irritability, serotonin is a chemical known to increase one's agreeableness, decrease quarrelsomeness, and improve mood. This means that time spent outside and in the sun can help increase a chemical that is often responsible for our happiness. However, the evidence relating these effects to serotonin is indirect and therefore cannot be a stronghold to support the claim that sunshine makes you a happier person. And again, you aren't wrong to assume that a lack of sunlight may lead to more depressive moods. In 1984, South African psychiatrist Norman Rosenthal first named this phenomenon seasonal affective disorder. He first categorized what many now call seasonal depression. Luckily, it is often said that in cases of SAD, bright light is an effective standard treatment. In fact, many places across the EU and North America have developed light cafes or places where people can go to absorb artificial light and allegedly improve their mood. While sunshine is proven to increase mood and serotonin levels, this does not mean that sunshine is the only factor that can change your mood and somehow instantly improve your happiness. More importantly, things like diet, exercise, and even psychotherapy can greatly affect our happiness and are some of the most salient factors in determining our overall happiness. It may be also important to note that living for extreme pleasure and happiness may not be the most efficient or happy way to live. If a daddy's rich, take her out for a meal. If a daddy's poor, just do what you feel. Speed along. We do as we please When the weather's fine We go fishing or go swimming in the sea We're always happy Last we're living, yeah, that's our philosophy